Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm kind of afraid to step in front of the camera because, well, you know, during quarantine, our hairdressers and our barbers are not allowed to work. So I have had to color my own hair to hide the gray. But you know what? I've got such a good lesson for you today that I'm just going to take a chance that you're going to love me anyway, and I'm going to step in front of the camera and let you know what happened when I decided to do my own hair. It's a little darker than usual, and it's a little curlier than you're used to. But it's still the same Pastor Krista, and it's still the same talk time with a good lesson. So let's get going. And you know, I thought, since I did this to my hair, let's talk about hair today. Let's talk about how we come to God. It doesn't matter how we come to God. We can come to God with straight brown hair or with curly black hair or with no hair. We can come to God all dressed up fancy like we do on Sunday mornings for church, or we can come to God without our teeth brushed in our pajamas in the morning because God doesn't care. What, God, what matters to God is that we come to God at all, that we take that opportunity whenever we need to be in the presence of God and that we come to God. And how we look, it really doesn't matter to God because God loves all of us and God will take us however God can get us. So I want you to take a look at my t-shirt today because my t-shirt says something really cool on it. It has all different colored leaves like we might see in the fall. And underneath it says, God has the best box of crayons. Meaning, if you look at that huge box of crayons, did you ever get that really big box for school or for home just for coloring and doing art? And there's all those different colors of crayons well, it's pretty exciting when you have that box of crayons. This message on my shirt is that in this world, there's all different colors. There's different colors in nature and there's different colors of people. But that box of crayons, all those different colors that God created in this world is just the very best. And we need to value all of it. It doesn't matter what color it is. It doesn't matter how it looks. God loves me the same today as God loved me yesterday before I had my crazy hair. So we are going to be talking about some scripture today. And you know when we read our scripture, we take our scripture and we blow it up to get the bigger picture. Well today, I'm gonna to read the same scripture from two of the different four gospels in our Bible. But I'm gonna kinda of teach you a side lesson before we get started. I want you to take a look over here. Did you ever read a book or watch a movie? And the second time you read the book or watch the movie, you pick up on something you didn't pick up on the first time. This happened with me and Mike the other day. We were watching a movie on Saturday and Mike had seen it before and I had never seen it. And I was sitting right next to him on the couch and something happened on the movie and he said, oh, mom, I didn't catch that the first time. Well, our Bible is like that. We need to read it more than once to catch things because we may not have caught them the first time. Sometimes we read a scripture when we're 10 or 11 years old, and then we read the same scripture again when we're like 20 or 30 years old. And because we've had life experience, things happen in life in between all those years, we read it differently. Well, that happened to me, and that's why I have this example here. When I was reading a book, I read a book when I was probably 11 or 12 years old. And this right here is the name of one of the characters in the book. And because I had never seen that name before, I've never run across it with any friend in one of my classes, I pronounced that name Geoff. And I read the whole book, and in my head, every time I read this man's name, in my head, I said, Geoff. Then years and years later, I had a student in my class as a teacher. And I looked at his name and I said, oh my gosh, I have a student in my class named Geoff. And I've never heard that name since I've read that book. Well, when I got the students in front of me and I began talking to them and I read off their names for attendance and I said, Geoff, he said, um, Excuse me, but my name isn't Geoff, it's Jeff. 
And I didn't know that this spelling and this spelling are different, but it's pronounced the same. So I read a whole book and I called somebody's name in my head, I pronounced it incorrectly. But when I had a second experience, I realized what I had done. So second experiences in the Bible, your experience with the Bible two or three or five or 20 times is very important. You might read a parable in the Bible once and you might read it a second time and get totally something else out of it. So let's get back to talking about hair and I'm gonna read you what Jesus has to say in the New Testament about hair. And I'm gonna read it from two different places in the Bible. And the first place is from Matthew 10, 29 to 31. And this is what it says. Not one sparrow, what do they cost? Two for a penny? Can fall to the ground without God knowing it. And the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't worry, you are more valuable to God than many sparrows. So that is the story of the hairs on your head taken from the Gospel of Matthew. And what this is saying is that God knows every hair on your head. He can count every hair on your head. I bet you, you could take a brother, sister, mother, father and start to count their hairs and you'd lose track, but not our God. God never loses track of us. God knows every hair on our head. So now I'm gonna to move to the Gospel of Luke and I'm gonna be reading from Luke 27. And listen to how the message is the same, but the words change a little bit and see if reading it twice in two different books in our Bible helps us understand a little bit more. This one starts out by saying, what is the price of five sparrows? A couple of pennies? Not much more than yeah, that. Yet God does not forget a single one of them. He knows the number of hairs on your head. Never far, you are never too far from God. You are far, far more valuable to him than a whole flock of sparrows. So not only does the scripture writer in Luke tell us that God knows every hair of our head, but God tells us, or the scripture writer tells us that God loves all creatures. And you think of a sparrow as just a little tiny bird. Well, if God loves that little tiny bird and knows where all the little tiny birds on the earth go, then certainly, God loves something as complex and wonderful as us. And that's an important lesson today, boys and girls, that we are loved by a God, and it doesn't matter what color we are in the box of God's crayons. It does not matter what our hair looks like. It doesn't matter if we're all fancy dressed and we come to God, or if we're just in our sweats with our hair all willy-nilly. God doesn't care. What matters to God is that we come to God, that we come to God in prayer, that we sit down every day and we read just a little bit of our Bible just to keep us in touch with a God that loves us so greatly. So today, our song that we are going to sing is Jesus Loves the Little Children. And I love this because it talks about all the different colors of skin and it talks about how great Jesus' love is for us. So here we go. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. So remember as you go through your day today, friends, that Jesus loves you. And it doesn't matter how you come to Jesus, how big or tall you are, how what color your skin is, it doesn't matter who you love, Jesus loves you. So hear these words of benediction and we will see you on Monday. Our words of benediction, and you can do it with me, it says, my heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. You have a wonderful weekend. Take some time this weekend and read your Bible and pray and we will see you on Monday.